Um, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I found the Abbey through my mother. Um, then I applied for the Honors Institute scholarship and uh, ended up coming for the scholarship weekend. And that was where I really saw that the people here are what makes it um, a really special place. So I started talking to Dr. Thewitt about the honors program, recognizing um, the value that that would add to my education and the desire that I had for, for truth. And I think I enjoyed most having a small class that was very tight-knit. Um, it's not like we're all best friends, but I found some of my best friends in my class. We did cultural events every semester, and I think that was that was a real. Um, uh, I loved that, <laughs> uh, going to things like the symphony and uh, watching famous piano players and uh, plays, musicals, uh, art exhibits. It was just also fun to get dressed up with your friends and go to a classy event. <laughs> um, but then another aspect was the Rome trip, and it's like I said, since it's with the same classmates you continue to build those bonds and friendship. Um, and at the same time, we were learning, um, and reading texts and discussing them and learning Italian, having all these really great experiences together in another country. Having friendships here that with, with people who really care about their faith, I think has been one of the most impactful things about being here. Having like friendly correction from, from my closest friends and also not just correction, but um, encouragement to deepen my faith. Uh, they showed me lots of different ways to live it out that I had not realized before. Um, I think that being here has really taught me to integrate more of my faith into my everyday decisions and actions. And just building friendships with the monks has been amazing. Like Father Karen would freshman year take us out for ice cream. I've played chess with monks before and Father Arthur's always ready for a conversation. One time he left a trail of candy to campus ministry <laughs> to try and lure students in. <laughs> I've found through being here that I'm a very much liberal arts person. When I got here I was taking all these classes that were um, just like more reading and writing intensive. Um, and more like humanities. But in high school, I had taken calculus too, like um, AP calculus, and I was like, okay, I'm great, I'm done, forever, no more math, <laughs> this is awesome. But then I got here and like I, my friend Daniel was would be doing his math homework because he was a math major, and I would be like, what are you doing? Like, I wanna do that, <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> I could not have just been in honors and like done some sort of humanities major. I could not have just been a math major at some public college. Like, I wouldn't have done the same thing at all. Having them mesh together was really um, perfect for me because, I, like I said, I needed both. And having um, professors like Dr. Strugar who are always so available to you for time outside of class for explaining things is really, I think, necessary and helpful because it makes you feel like you're not alone in it. I was very much like a shy person before I came to Belmont Abbey. I think sophomore year, I decided that I wanted to branch out a little bit more and not be so afraid of meeting people. And ever since then, I have met so many different types of people, and I think that that's a huge part of what I appreciate about Belmont Abbey. It's the people who brought me here, and it's the people who kept me here, and it's the people that I'll miss the most. It felt like a real accomplishment, like I had really learned a lot. Sometimes I think when you're going through the four years you don't realize how much you've learned and you and you go am I really like a good enough whatever it is major. I feel like I just am the same as I was as a freshman but then actually when I looked at that especially in the thesis it was really apparent that I had learned so much. <laughs> um, I think that I guess my purpose in life that I've found here is, is to love um, whether it is loving God or learning to love myself more or loving other people. Everything that I've learned here has kind of fed into that of um, not disregarding people, of um, taking anybody where they're at and, and learning to love them where they are as they need to be loved. <laughs>